Ezra, Venechemiah, Ezra 7. Now after these things in the reign of Artachshashta, king of Persia, Ezra, the son of Sarayahu, the son of Azariahu, the son of Kilkiyahu, the son of Shalom, the son of Sedak, the son of Achituv, the son of Emariahu, the son of Azariahu, the son of Merayot, the son of Zerachiah, the son of Uzi, the son of Buki, the son of Avishua, the son of Penachak, the son of El Azar, the son of Eharan, the chief priest. This Ezra went up from Babel, and he was a ready scribe in the Torah of Moshe, which Yahweh Elohai of Yashara'el had given. And the king granted him all his request, according to the hand of Yahweh Elohayu upon him. And there went up some of the children of Yashara'el, and of the priests, and the Leveim, and the singers, and the porters, and the Nathin, unto Yaru Shalaim, in the seventh year of Artach Shashta, the king. And he came to Yaru Shalaim in the fifth month, which was in the seventh year of the king. For upon the first day of the first month began he to go up from Babel, and on the first day of the fifth month came he to Yaru Shalaim, according to the good hand of his Elohim upon him. For Ezra had prepared his heart to seek eth the Torah of Yahweh, and to do it, and to teach in Yashara'el commandments and judgments. Now this is the copy of the Sefer that the king of Artach Shashta gave unto Ezra the priest, the scribe, even a scribe of the words of the commandments of Yahweh and of his statutes to Yashara'el. Artach Shashta, king of kings, unto Ezra the priest, a scribe of the Torah, of the Elohim of heaven, perfect peace, and at such a time. I make a decree that, that all they of the people of Yashara'el and of his priests and Leveim in my realm which are minded of their own free will to go up to Yerushalayim, rather, Yerushalayim, go with you. For as much as you are sent of the king and of his seven counselors to inquire concerning Yahudah and Yerushalayim according to the Torah of your Elohim, which is in your hand, and to carry the silver and gold which the king and his counselors have freely offered unto the Elohim, of Yashar'el, whose habitation is in Yerushalayim. And all the silver and gold that you can find in all the province of Babel, with the free will offering of the people and of the priests, offering willingly for the house of their Elohim, which is in Yerushalayim, that you may buy speedily with this money bullocks, rams, lambs, with their meat offerings and their drink offerings, and offer them upon the altar of the house of your Elohim, which is in Yerushalayim. And whatsoever shall seem good to you and to your brethren, do to, rather to do with the rest of the silver and the gold, that do after the will of your Elohim. The vessels also that are given you for the service of the house of your Elohim, those deliver you before the Elohim of Yerushalayim. And whatsoever more shall be needful for the house of your Elohim, which you shall have occasion to bestow, bestow it out of the king's treasure house. And I, even I, Artach Shasta, the king, do make a decree to all the treasures, rather to all the treasurers which are beyond the river, that whatsoever Ezra the priest, the scribe of the Torah, 
of the Elohim of heaven shall require of you it be done speedily unto a hundred talents of silver and to a hundred measures of wheat and to a hundred baths of wine and to a hundred baths of oil and salt without prescribing how much whatsoever is commanded by the elohim of heaven let it be done rather let it be diligently done for the house of the elohim of heaven for why should there be wrath against the realm of the king and his sons also we certify you that touching any of the priests and levim singers porters Nothing, or ministers of this house of Elohim. It shall not be lawful to impose toll, tribute, or custom upon them. And you, Ezra, after the wisdom of your Elohim that is in your hand, set magistrates and judges, which may judge all the people that are beyond the river, all such as know the Torah of your Elohim, and teach ye them that know them not. And whosoever shall not do the Torah of your Elohim and the law of the king, let judgment be executed speedily upon him, whether it be done unto death or to banishment or to confiscation of goods or to imprisonment. Blessed be Yahweh Elohai, of our fathers, which has put such a thing as this in the king's heart, to beautify at the house of Yahweh, which is in Yerushalayim, and has extended mercy unto me before the king and his counselors, and before all the king's mighty princes. And I was strengthened, as the hand of Yahweh Elohai was upon me, and I gathered together out of Yashar'el, chief men, to go up with me.